In the figure below, n congruent semicircles lie on the diameter of a large semicircle. With their diameters covering the diameter of the large semicircle with no overlap, let A be the combined area of the small semicircles and B be the area of the region inside the large semicircle, but outside the semicircles. Um, the ratio A to B is 1 over 18. So I know that um, A over B is equal to 1 over 18. Um, I'm going to start by trying to find out what... Um, what the area of the whole large semicircle is, and then the area of the the small, the several small shaded uh, semicircles. So let's start with the several shaded um, semicircles. So what I want to do is let's say let's let R equal the radius um, of the small of a small semicircle. So a is just going to be it's going to be the number of small semicircles, which is n, times pi r squared. And since it's a semicircle, we divide that by 2. Um, now let's look at the, the whole large semicircle. Um, and the way that's going to be represented is it's going to be, so b is the area outside the shaded semicircles. So it's going to be b, and then to get the remaining area, um, we need to add a. So that's going to be the area of the whole large semicircle, including the small semicircles. Um, so first, the radius of the large semicircle notice it's going to be equal to the number of small semicircles times r. So therefore, we're going to have pi times that radius, n r squared, and then again divided by 2 because it's a semicircle. So we get pi n squared r squared over 2. Okay, so now I want to look at this, that ratio up there again. Um, one thing that you need to notice here is B is the area inside the large semicircle, but outside the semicircles. Um, we found B plus A. So let's take a look at, let's see if we can use that ratio um, to our advantage here. So something that may be helpful to look at, B plus A over A is going to be equal to B over A plus A over A, which is just 1. Um, I know that b over a, if you modify that um, or manipulate that equation, you get that b over a is equal to 18. So therefore, b over a plus 1 is just 18 plus 1, which is 19. Um, so I know that b plus a over a equals 19. Um, let's find out what b plus a over a is here using what I've the um, the equations I found. So here b plus a over a is equal to pi n squared r squared over 2. Um, and sorry, that should be, since I'm adding a, or yeah, no, no, no I found b plus a, um, and then I'm going to do n times pi r squared over 2. So here I'm now going to get um, 2 times pi n squared r squared over um, 2 n pi r squared. Um, so here, everything is going to cancel, and there will be an n in the numerator. So it's true that um, n is equal to b plus a over a, and that also equals 19. So therefore, I found that n equals 19, and that is choice D.